Hiya, I'm just doing a cover for my monthly zine. Another quick drawing this one. Last week's video of Liam Gallagher portrait was a nice quick one. And this is going to be a quick one too because I have no time to be doing long ones. Oh yes. Um, still working on my paintings for the exhibition next May, May 2025. Um, I just need to keep going. I need to, um, need to have around 150, which is a lot. So I need to crack on. So today's drawing is a nice quick one of um, a Canadian disco producer called Gino Soccio, I think it is. Gino Soccio. <laughs> um, and his biggest hit was one called Dancer. Yeah. It's a good one, it's a good one. Um I thought, yep, yeah, let's paint him. Um not sure if he actually even sings. Um the female vocals on dancer. I often what I do with these covers for the zine is have a speech bubble coming from the artist singing but this guy I don't think this guy sings so what will I do? Do I just pretend he sings? Does anyone care? Probably not. So yeah quick drawing you have noticed that I picked an easy drawing as well it's Mostly black. <laughs> so. It's not going to take very long. Sorry if you were hoping something more substantial. But I have got plenty of those videos on the channel. Have a dig around. Maybe I'll do a playlist with the longer videos. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Again, that's something I've not got time to be messing around with. <laughs> right, her. Big her he's got. And I'm making it bigger. Oh yes, look at that. Fantastic. Let's see how bad I can do the hand. <laughs> I like drawing hands badly now. It's funny. And that very strange thumb he's got there. I'm going to make that a bit better though. He's holding a cup of tea. Looks like a cup of tea. It's certainly a teacup. I'm assuming there's tea in it. Of course, when I say, let's see how badly I can draw the hand, it's a bit of a cop out, isn't it? It's excusing myself if I do do a bad drawing. Oh, I meant it. <laughs> so sometimes I do mean it, but this time when I drew that, I was trying to get it fairly, fairly close. Uh, 
Some shapes going on underneath there, a bit of shadow, a bit of his hand. Like that. This is really quick, isn't it? <laughs> Good. The um, painting project is all consuming. <laughs> Pretty much all I think about at the moment, um, but I don't want to spread it out and f you know have a finished date that's really close to the exhibition date. So I want to finish the work with months to go. That gives me time to do all the stuff, publicity which I'm not massively responsible for, but I will be publicising it myself as well. Um, we think it's going on shelves and I'm going to be making the shelves. So that's a, another job. Um, so I finish, I want to finish by December. And then I've got five months. Uh, and it also means um, there might be the odd painting that I, I'm not happy with, I want to redo doesn't happen very often because I'm very much um, someone who believes in the what I paint is what the painting is. If that makes sense. I don't paint something and then think, oh, that was wrong. I paint something and think, oh, that's how it turned out. That's interesting. And it goes in the exhibition regardless. I'm not a, I'm not um, applying any sort of quality thresholds to these paintings. They are what they are. I've no time to be doing that. So, um, but there is one that I've done already in particular, which I may paint again or go over because it just doesn't, doesn't grab me. It's not good enough, but it's also not, not bad enough, if that makes sense. Some of the paintings that um, look nothing like who they're meant to be make me laugh. Um, but to be honest, they've always got some sort of little essence of them in there. And there's one I painted recently which doesn't have that essence of the person. It's not got the essence of fun about it. It looks like a painting of someone else rather than a bad painting of the subject, if that makes sense. Um, and I'm not having that, not having that. But I've not corrected it yet because spending time on doing that again is time I could be spending painting something else. And so I will come back to it when I've painted everything else and see if I want to redo it. Or I'll just leave it out. We'll see. But it's, uh, I'm still enjoying it. It's a good project. Um, I have a fairly good work ethic, thanks to having a day job. <laughs> um, and having a day job helps focus the mind. You know, when I've finished working for the day, I've got a small time slot in which to do my painting. So. You just get it done. If I had um like no day job and lots of time, I probably wouldn't do it. I'd probably end up actually running out of time because you'd be thinking, oh yeah, yeah, fine. Yeah, got loads of time. My mindset in this is that I've not got loads of time. Even though you might think, May. What is it now? September. If, if you ignore September, that's gone. October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May. It's eight months. But I can't look at it like that. I can't look at it like that. I have very little time in which to sort this out. But it's 
good. It's good. I'm loving it. And if I'm the minute I stop drawing this, I'm going to make a brew and paint a disco cover. Like this is disco. I'm going to be painting um, a disco compilation record, which would be funny. Compilation record covers can be quite funny, unless they're usually terrible. <laughs> Especially the cheap ones from the 70s and early 80s. Um, they've just got, I mean, this one's just got a photo of, uh, to use the language of the day, it's got a photo of a dolly bird on the front uh, in a leotard, of course. They were never, like, in normal gear, always skimpily dressed. Um, guys, people bought music, bought records for the music, not for the skimply dressed woman on the front. <laughs> I'll never get that. It's not going to make me buy that record. <laughs> Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Right. No, it's nearly done. Nearly done. Oh, I need to get him saying something. Right. Oh, I'm going to have him singing his song. No, I actually I was listening to a different Gino Soxio song. Uh, so what was it I was listening to? Try it out, Gino Saccio. It's a good one. So, I got like that. There we go. Gino Saccio telling you to try it out. What if I were you do? What if I were you do? What if I were you? It's poisoned. Joke's gone. God's sake. Right, that's my uh, little Gino Soxio drawing. You know the score. Go and make your own. Uh, I'll see you next week. See ya. <laughs>